Hello and welcome to virtualtraining.us. My name is Devin Gandhi. Today I'm going to show you how to convert the Cisco 1130 series access point from a lightweight iOS to autonomous iOS. What is the difference between a lightweight and autonomous? The lightweight access point works in conjunction with the wireless controller so you can manage a multiple access point from a single source. So if you have more than 10 access points to manage in a single environment, then, you, it's, it, then it is recommended that you use a wireless controller to manage them and use a lightweight access point iOS on it. On the other hand, there is the autonomous access point, which is a standalone access point. Uh, similar to Linksys, uh, Netgear, which you would find in the home and small business offices. So you can convert this uh, Cisco 1130 access point into autonomous and use it uh, in the home environment as well. So here's what I pulled up is a uh, documentation on the 1130 series access point on Cisco's website. And this is what it looks like. And it, it supports um, either a PoE power or external power source. It has a console port as well as there's a little mode or reset button right there. So we're going to go ahead and use that mode slash reset button to uh, to download the uh, autonomous iOS. Some of the prerequisite is you're going to need a TFTP server. Uh, I'm using the SolarWinds uh, TFTP server which is a free uh, free download. Also you need some sort of uh, telnet client. So I'm using the secure CRT or you can use the PuTTY if you like. PuTTY, PuTTY is free uh, to download. And the third thing you're going to need is the actual uh, iOS itself. So uh, I went ahead and downloaded from Cisco's website. Uh, if you go to cisco.com and search uh, under uh, support and uh, under download, if you search for the uh, 11, um, 1130 series access point, this is where it's, it's going to bring you. And you click on autonomous AP iOS software, and this is what you're going to download. So this is that's what I have right here. So the first thing we need to do is go, uh, go ahead and configure the TFTP server. So I'm going to open that up, click on File, Configure. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and right here, I'm actually pointing to that folder right there, which is right here on my desktop, Cisco 1130. So uh, that's where the iOS is. So I'm going to go ahead and start the service and hit OK. I'll let it sit in the corner right here. The next thing we need to do is rename this uh, to uh, C1130-K9W7-TAR.Default. So we're going to rename this and take the last part out and call it default and hit enter. So once you do that, let's go ahead and I'm going to open up my secure CRT client. Go ahead and double click on uh, COM1. So right here it's, uh, it's waiting for a connection uh, from the uh, actual access point. One other thing you also need to do is you need to change the IP address on your controller, or I would say your NIC card to match the uh, access point IP address. So what I need to do, I'm going to rename this. Uh, I'm going to open up the network and connection sharing, change the adapter settings. I'm going to go down to a uh, Ethernet, go to properties, and then I'm going to go down to IPv4, and I'm going to change the IP to 10.0.0.5 because the by default the uh, IP address for the access point itself is 10.0.0.1 so 255.255.255.0 I'm going to hit OK hit close I'm going to close this and close this 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect the external power source to the access point. And what I'm going to do is hold down the mode button on the access point while connecting the uh, external power source. And within 30 seconds or so, uh, you should see uh, something appears on the screen saying that uh, the button is pressed, uh, waiting for button to release. So you should see that on your uh, uh, Telnet client. So there it goes. It says button is pressed, waiting for button to release. So I'm going to go ahead and re release it. And as you can see, it's it started extracting the uh, the new iOS, autonomous iOS, directly from the TFTP site. Now you can see that right here. It says connected to 10.0.0.1, which is the IP address for the uh, access point. That's a default uh, IP address. Okay, so it's telling you that it took uh, 310 seconds, which is close to about f 5 minutes. Now it's loading the new uh, iOS. So it's basically the uh, access point is rebooting with the new iOS. And you can also see in the uh, TFTP server window right here, it says it showed it's completed. So the download was com successful, basically. So about in a minute or so, it should come up with the uh, uh, login prompt, basically. Okay, there we go. So if I type in enable, the default password is just Cisco with capital C. So once you're in there, this is the basic config that comes with it. So it looks like the iOS upgrade was successful. So when I get some free time next time, I will try to create a video that shows you how to configure this uh, autonomous access point for uh, basic home use or small business, basically. So that is it for me. I mean, if you like my video, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.